Surface Trail begins, I will pull over and switch the cameras to 4K. Alright, I have both changed both of the cameras to a 4K mode. Take it easy because the washboard is nuts. And I don't wanna weld my bike again. <laughs> stabilization of the Action 5 Pro how stable it is the footage on the bumpy road like this yeah and as I mentioned as soon as we get into the trees there's no more colors that I was looking for but down in the valley below, there should be some trees with the leaves. say that today the powder face is in the worst shape I have ever seen. I've seen it rough before but it seems like they didn't plow this thing or grade this thing throughout the whole year. It's so rough which is still no problem to ride it but it's not enjoyable it's so bumpy. There's a couple sections like here that uh, that's decent and as soon as you get to the loose gravel it's like a deep, deep washboard.
Yeah, I was able to send the drone up, but I got multiple warnings about the strong wind to lower the altitude. I did lower the altitude and it was still all over the place. I didn't want it to fly too far because I would never see the drone probably because the gusts of the wind are quite strong. So better not taking a chance. I was looking for my drone once uh, when I went to the plane crash side uh, near Coleman. I lost them there and uh, had to come back in the, with the car and uh, I had a GPS location and uh, managed to find it actually because first time when I was a motorcycle I was sort of uh, in a panic mode and I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't find it. Once I got home, pulled up the GPS locations of the computer and I was able to find that sucker. It was just on the bottom of the tree. Thanks God, didn't go anywhere, but I was able to track it down, so that was a win. And actually it survived even a small rain. We are getting close to the end of the powder phase. It's gonna, uh, from here I'll go straight to Trans-Canada. From there I'm gonna go straight home. Beautiful ride and uh, as I predicted, not much traffic, a few cars, but there was uh, actually a lot of cars that got here before me and they're parked. Uh, either they're hiking or maybe some guys are hunting in this area. It is a public land, everything is uh, on a table. Like a lot of those four-wheelers that drive in the middle of the road, instead of keeping the lane, and uh, when you get to the corner they come out from behind a hill and you don't see them and they go into a panic mode that's why i'm trying to stick as much as possible to my right uh, shoulder not to uh, get involved in a collision with those four wheelers that wouldn't be much of fun now trans canada highway is 23 kilometers a beautiful day to get get out for a ride it is uh, 12 30 so from here I have another hour or so to get home. Oh yeah, they paved the only a little section of it. They didn't pave the whole thing. So this is gravel again and that's that loose gravel that's very deceiving. So either going fast or take it easy because otherwise uh, you might catch it and uh, wipe out. I've done that in the past at 100 km per hour pretty much. The bike went sideways. That's first when I was learning how to ride. There's a couple guys on the bikes for the first time. 
and they, they, they're gonna tackle the powder face from the other direction. I hope this is not too much of this because I don't want to get freaking covered and that's good thing the, the wind blows the other way so I won't get that much of it. Oh, let's slow down for those bicycles. I don't want to be an asshole. Let them enjoy a little bit less dust. Some people have no respect for them. Now, on this stretch of the road, there is a few four wheelers passing by, creating all that dust. And yes, she is loose. That gravel is so loose. face is complete. Now it's the time to check it off the list and they will close that road uh, pretty soon. Uh, I don't remember exactly the date when they're closing it but yes they will close that and there will be no more access uh, even if, uh, if the weather permits. So that's pretty much the last bell to do this uh, stretch. It's time to wrap up today's ride. It was beautiful, I love the fall, the sceneries that we have here, they're beautiful. Uh, it's only like an hour away from home, not even, to this trail. And you get into the mountains, you get to enjoy the breeze and the fresh air. Get away from the hustle and daily routine, take a breather enjoy the ride and that's what I like to do now I still have a couple of months left to go hunting which is gonna happen next week I will most likely shoot the video I don't promise because I don't know uh, that's a totally different way of filming because usually the sceneries are still beautiful last time we spend the day hunting and uh, I haven't uh, shot anything, haven't seen anything, but the day was still beautiful. It was much warmer than today, but it was also windy, same as today. But uh, the sceneries in Livingstone, they were quite spectacular. It was a very well spent day outdoors. I take that any time over sitting at home so all together that's gonna be close to how many kilometers did I do okay 130 kilometers and I got 80 to go so it's gonna be slightly over 200 kilometers 210 kilometers by the time I get home so it's a beautiful ride if you haven't been here on the powder face I really recommend it come out early to avoid all the vehicles or have less vehicles this way you don't experience all that dust because uh, that dust is not fun it gets everywhere and uh, the clothing and the bike itself it's uh, totally covered in dust uh, the wheels are white definitely it's a uh, chain cleaning after you get home the dust I will usually get home and I get my compressor and blow it all off that's not a problem not getting too fussy about uh, washing that stuff next wash it will come off because it's really fine powdery dust same as uh, highway 40 here so yeah anyways uh, if you enjoyed that video don't forget to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe watch some more content on my channel there's a lot of tutorials here as well on the channel so if you're working on your bike you can find some uh, pointers how to do simple things uh, on your bike uh, by yourself instead of giving it to the shop. For now you guys ride safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!